Nikola Jokic's basketball IQ is off the charts. His ability to evaluate the opposing defense and constantly make the proper read, whether that's to pass, to give and go, to post up, or to use his exceptional body control for his size to his advantage, can be damn near unstoppable. It's literally insane how anyone could say even satirically that Jokic isn't an elite post player, but here we are. Jokic isn't known for having some kind of dominant post game. That's not his game. Hold it's not his second. game. He's not a dominant post player. Is he a dominant post player? Joker's footwork, balance, pristine touch, focus, attention to detail, and impulsiveness gives him the ability to either pull off ridiculous one-legged Dirk Nowitzki-esque fadeaways, which he's dubbed the Sambor Shuffle, or traditionally back down his matchup and mercilessly drop step using his beastly strength. But it's much more complicated than just how Jokic utilizes that post-up repertoire. It's how Nikola mixes in elusive passes with his post-up game and downhill attacks, whether that's with dribble handoffs, floater entries to find backdoor cutters, lobs to manipulate defenders on the back side, or cross-court bullets to expose lob-sided help defense, which is what keeps the opposing game plan continuously playing a guessing game. Even when he does post up, the move that he utilizes is led into with pass fakes and tough to gauge body language that gets him that extra inch of space to work with. When in addition to all of that unguardable, naturally bred intelligence, he can step back off the dribble with range from damn near 35 feet away from the hoop, you can see why so many legends of our game like LeBron have so much respect for him. Because how a 6 foot 11, 284 pound dude with a 7 foot 3 wingspan can knock down contested deep range bombs, then the next possession spin through traffic down the lane while maintaining full composure in terms of his ability to fend off contact while staying locked in both mentally and physically, can make this all seem like someone's playing 2K on rookie difficulty. The Joker's skill is so polished, it's actually laughable. His ability to stop on a dime, pass fake to shift the defense, and stay poised enough to knock down perimeter jumpers is next level and unheard of for about any other big man we've seen throughout the history of basketball, a certain scoring fortitude which goes overlooked amidst all the other skills he brings to the table. It's how Jokic doesn't rush anything that makes him so unpredictable. He trusts the screenplay to the utmost extent and can adapt to whatever defense thrown in front of him, whether that's straight up one-on-one -on -one coverage, late blitzes, or a zone. With that said, while he's patient, all the passing reads that he makes are simultaneously decisive and quick twitched. In terms of how he can post spin, shuffle back in traffic to be on the arc and maintain focus to knock down utterly closed out on off-balanced perimeter jumpers, there's no verbiage that can articulate that type of mastery. We've gone in depth on in several videos talking about the advanced motion that the Nuggets ran in order to win the 2023 finals, but None of that action is properly initiated without the once-in-a-lifetime brilliant passing manipulation of the kid from Sombor. Absolutely nothing on a possession-to-possession -possession basis comes close to being predictable enough to be sought out within a game, let alone game-planned for prior to a matchup. With his utterly elusive combination of ball fakes and perceptiveness, it's just about impossible for the opposing defense to get a legitimate sense for whether he's about to drop it off to a teammate or release one of his signature leaning back fallaways. Regarding how he finds a way to mix up his attacks in a fashion that's stunningly evasive, that goes back to his intelligence and experience level, playing at the highest level of pro basketball on the planet since he was 17 years old. While many try to label him strictly as a passing center, given he, to be fair, is the greatest facilitating five-man in the history of basketball, Jokic being anything but one-dimensional is something that can't be glossed over. With 99 overall rated hands to catch every pass, legal yet impactful positioning on his big body screens, and a criminally underrated wherewithal to both knock away loose balls in the passing lanes 
and block shots around the basket defensively, Nicola definitively provides the entire package. He can all of break your heart with seemingly impossible J's while fading back from the high post, tear apart game plans like Prime Grizzlies Marcus Gasol with manipulatively cagey dimes, and also beat matchups off the dribble, not in the traditional sense with his speed, but with his craftiness, footwork, and strength to bully defenders out of the way. His shot-making ability forces defenses into a constant state of over-concern, as even guards who have zero chance of making an impact on his high-arcing 9-foot 3-inch release point are hopelessly tempted to pick him up. How does Jokic respond to said help? Not by forcing the look that he has every right to take, but by reading where the open man is and figuring out what pass they need in a split second. Those types of decisions aren't capable of being made by even some of the greatest passers the game of basketball has ever seen. Jokic keeps everything fluid and simple, literally at all times, and can control the pace of the game to its fullest extent because of that. With how mesmerizing and multi-dimensional this man's game is, you start thinking about how one-dimensional so many other players or even superstars are across the league in comparison to this Serbian phenom. In other words, Jokic is so damn good in all facets that he makes his peers look bad. Exposing the competition on a consistent basis, saying Nikola is merely a top 5 center ever, doesn't even do him justice. More suitably, the game of basketball has never seen anything like Nikola Jokic. He is, in the truest sense, a unicorn within the sport, a revolutionary talent whose out-of-this-world IQ and versatility in terms of how he can both make everyone on the floor better and dominate with his scoring simultaneously should be studied and attempted to be replicated for the next generation of hoopers. But quite frankly, there is no replicating Jokic. If you had to give a build to him, it would be a one-of-a-kind post-playmaking sharpshooter. The guy should be in consideration to have Giannis's nickname of the Freak, but of the Serbian variety. How Jokic is able to take over every part of the game without trampoline-esque jumping ability to his advantage is simply a sight to behold that you shouldn't take for granted. And by the looks of it, no one did take it for granted. The main reason why the NBA had its most marketable playoffs ever, tallying 8 billion social media views across its individual platforms, should be credited to this man Nikola Jokic. Just 13.9% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe if you haven't already. This was DFlow, I hope you enjoyed, and peace.